Hello everyone, my name is Rob and in this video I will review the brand new BenQ PD3220U Designer Monitor. BenQ was so kind to send me a review unit so I can check it out and test it here in my studio. And uh, it's a 4K edge-to-edge 10-bit panel and it's a beautiful industrial design that perfectly matches the MacBook or MacBook Pro. So let's get going with the unboxing. The monitor comes in a pretty big box naturally, so it's best to put it to the side and to slide it open to get to the contents. Then you'll have a bunch of cables like USB-C, DisplayPort, HDMI and of course a new hotkey puck that I'll talk about later. And also the online factory calibration report that shows you the results of the factory calibration so you don't need to calibrate it after you set it up. And some legacy media in case you have a DVD drive, the base plate for the monitor arm and a little panel to hide the cables in the back. And finally after carefully unwrapping the monitor, there you have it in all its glory. Assembling the monitor is very easy. First you take the arm and the base plate and you screw it on and then after that is set up you slide the monitor from the top until it locks in and that's all. Once it is set up you will notice the beautiful new industrial design of this monitor. I love the space grey color, it perfectly matches the MacBook or MacBook Pro. The display itself is pretty impressive and super sharp. It features a 31.5 inch Ultra HD IPS panel and it can cover HDR10 content as well as 95% of P3 and 100% sRGB color gamut. And even if you look at the back of it, it looks better than the front of other devices. Simply put, it's a really beautiful product. What I also really like are the super slim bezels. It is an almost edge-to-edge -edge display, so it's also great to work with two monitors side by side, minimizing the space between the actual display content. It is also pretty fantastic just having to connect one single Thunderbolt 3 cable to get power, video and audio signals as well as data signals for all your peripherals. And now let's talk about the newly designed hotkey puck generation 2. It reminds a little bit of the dials that you have in high quality cars. It not only looks like it, it also feels like it, it has this high quality feel to it when you, when you press it or when you rotate it. So it gives you access to the on-screen display settings, but it also has three preset buttons that you can of course customize to quickly access any settings you might like to change on the fly. There's also a new feature called MBook. So when this color mode is activated, this will match the color gamut of the MacBook Pro quite exactly. It also comes with the cat cam mode, the animation mode, as well as the darkroom mode. However, I rarely use those. But what struck me was how fast you can switch between different color modes. It also features a new mode that's called dual view that allows you to split the screen between two different modes that will show you two color spaces simultaneously that will help you to see the effects on the image. Of course there are also some physical buttons on the back like the on and off button and a little joystick as well as two buttons that allow you to navigate the on-screen display menu. On the right hand side of the monitor you have the option to connect a few more devices, for example a USB 3 port, a headphone jack and another USB-C port. One more helpful feature is the built-in KVM switch, which stands for keyboard, video and mouse. So with a single tap on the hotkey puck, I can toggle to my Windows machine, which is under the desk, so I can use the same keyboard and the same Intos Pro tablet. And with another tap, I can connect to my MacBook Pro. Everything is connected without having to switch cables. After testing the monitor for a few days, I must say that I'm very happy with it. And I believe that everyone that is working in the creative industry and is probably a Mac user will also be very happy with this one. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Let me know what you think below in the comment sections. Uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified whenever there's a new video up. So thank you again and see you next time.